say real quick thank you to those of you who have sent me little messages because um, I haven't put out a video in a while and yes I'm doing fine I am just extremely <sighs> bogged down with graduate school so that has kind of become my priority uh, for now but I thought I would put out this video because I am still selling on eBay part-time very part-time and I'm going to show you the last 20 things that sold um, over the last couple weeks and uh, give you guys an idea of what a part-time seller can sell and what I sold, how much I sold it for. I'm not hiding anything. I'm not going to pretend like I'm making a million bucks because I'm not, but this will give you an idea of what you can do um, yourself. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, this is something that I picked up at the Goodwill Outlet and it's this cute little handmade quilted uh, little tree skirt for Christmas and it is for a small little tree not big, but it had some really cute little prints on it. Um, it did have one little flaw. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, right here. You can see that it was just starting to come up, the seam. Super easy fix. Not that big of a deal. It sold for um, $18.59, and I did offer free shipping on that. All right, next we have this vintage pair. Lot, or it's actually, it's a lot of three pairs of uh, vintage nylons, and they are seamless thigh highs. God, the tone is sheer witchery. And they're probably from the 70s, um, possibly 80s, I'm not sure. But I got these at a good at the Goodwill um, in a, a pack, and I got these three, and then I think I, there's three other ones that are full-size nylons. Uh, but they are 100% nylon, and they sold for $18.59 with free shipping. Um, and again, that's under a pound. So I don't always do free shipping. It just depends on what I feel like that day, <laughs> if I want to offer free shipping or not. This little set I picked up at the Goodwill Outlet. It was super cute. This is a Lucy and Me um, Anesco, and it's a teddy bear with the baby Jesus and two little sheep um, set. And this is from like 1986, 1987. Um, I had several watchers on this. Uh, this isn't normally my thing that I sell. If you've watched any of my shows, I'm not a trinket gal. But um, I did take a best offer of $22 for that. And that was, I, I did charge shipping on that $3.99. It went first class. And I just pack it really well and hopefully it'll get there. This I also got at the Goodwill Outlet. And this is a Jeep Grand Cherokee um, owner's manual in the pack. So it was pretty cool. This weighed over a pound, but because it's full of manuals, I did ship it in media mail. Um, it, media mail ships a lot cheaper, but it has to be in book form. It has to actually be media. So don't try to cheat the system. Um, and that sold for $18.59. Uh, I believe I charged, I thought I charged free shipping on that. I don't remember, but it sold for $18.59. All right, next, I just listed this a few days ago. I have not been listing a whole lot. Um, eBay really is one of those things, if you list it, you'll, you sell. So if you're not listing and not doing eBay, your sales will slow down, which mine have significantly since I've been back to school. Um, but this is a Ty Lily Demi Perfume, and it, it was just a tiny bit used. Um, not my scent. I'm not a big floral fan. It was really fruity, kind of fruity and florally. But anyway, that sold for $14.99 with free shipping. It only weighed uh, like an ounce, so two ounces maybe, so it didn't cost me very much. This is a vintage Talbot's um, red plaid tartan, or tartan plaid, 100% wool, um, long skirt. I, I don't buy a ton of Talbot's, which is funny because I think two, two of my things in here are Talbot's this sold. But... Um, this I did find at a thrift store and it was on sale. I believe I only paid like 99 cents for it. It's, it was beautiful. So, 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 so soft. And again, this had a lot of watchers on it too and it's, it's fully lined. It did have, I think, a little bit of flaw in it. So if your items have a flaw, just make sure that you mark it. See, I, there I have it. Um, I had, there was this little tiny hole in it. Um, you could not even see it though. I mean, it took bright lights and me really, really searching. And I did really search this thoroughly because it is 100% wool, but it is very soft. And it's a vintage Talbot, so even though it's a size 12, it fits more like a size 8, size 10. All right, next is this Miracle Body Stretch Jeans that um, I also got these at the thrift store. And I think these were on sale. I paid a dollar, $1.50 for them. 
and they were in really great condition. I really only buy jeans. I try to if they're in really great condition or if they're really roughed up and that's the desired look. So these were women's size 12, short. Now the tag doesn't say short, but they were they measured like 28 inches. So that is a short to me. Um, these uh, so this sold actually for $15. I took a best offer, plus $6.99 shipping. Um, here is a vintage Levi's Strauss uh, belt buckle and belt. And this I bought at an estate sale. Um, from a hoarder's house, and it was an interesting estate sale. I wish I could have, I wish I would have videotaped it because it would have been really fun to show you guys. It did have some paint on the belt, so again, making sure that I'm pointing out my flaws that I have here. I took a best offer of $11 and this shipped to New York. It's surprising, I do ship a lot of stuff to New York, um, but I when I bought it, I thought this was a really cool find, and then I started researching it, and there's actually quite a lot of these. On eBay so I was actually kind of surprised that it sold as quickly as it did um, this was I, I bought a lot of these not a lot like a ton of them but I, I think I bought like four or five total at the Goodwill my local Goodwill um, and I list them they are they, what they are is they are little basket liners and actually these are big these are a size extra large so I have several of these listed of couple in beige and then a couple in pink and this sold for $13.94 plus free shipping. Shipping probably cost me about four dollars. This is a Dom Tommy Bahama women's large just a blue knit top. Um, again got this at the thrift store. It was on sale at the thrift store. It's probably one of the color days. I probably paid like 75 cents for it and this sold for a full asking price of $14.87 with $3.99 shipping. This was actually my daughter's. It's a Columbia um, snowsuit. It's in excellent condition. She wore it last year. Um, we don't get a ton of snow here, but so my kids outgrow their snow stuff super fast. This did not come with a coat, um, but it is just the bibs, and I believe it's a size four. Yeah, it's a, and it's Columbia, which is a great brand. It's a size four T, and they they paid full price, uh, twenty three twenty four plus with free shipping. On those and I think they were under 16 ounces so they did go first class this was a vintage sheet that I bought at the Goodwill outlet I'm trying to think yes I did get this at the Goodwill outlet and I love vintage sheets as you know if you've watched my videos um, Stevens Utica is the name and um, it's just a twin twin sheet and it's floral it's daisies I love the colors on it very pretty um, I took a best offer of $10 with that with shipping. It was over a pound for that. But a lot of people use these. To, they repurpose them and they use them for um, making crafts and dresses and stuff like that. Next is this men's pair of North Face convertible pants. Um, I'm working on getting my or working my way through my husband's men's clothes and um, I listed these probably two months ago I don't remember not quite two months ago school's messing up my time um, so I can't really quite remember but these went for $27.89 with free shipping a lot of times when I offer free shipping I don't put best offer on them um, because I don't I, I feel like the giving them a free shipping is already at quite a discount because shipping is not cheap um, so I typically don't put best offer and I just try to um, price everything fairly. I, I'm not trying to make a million bucks. I'm trying to get rid of stuff. So I mean, it'd be nice to have a million bucks, but that's not a possibility. So here's my other Talbots thing. This has been in my store for a long, long time. Um, again, I try not to pick up a lot of Talbots, even though Talbots is a good brand. It's a high quality. And when I bought it home, I realized that it had been altered. So here I am adding that in the picture, and I also put it in the description that this is an altered item, and to please check the measurements for proper fit. So that is really important when you find an altered item, that you put in accurate measurements so that you don't get returns. Um, this sold for uh, $14.85 with $8 shipping because it was over a pound. This I just listed about a month ago, month and a half, and this is a Sacred Threads tapestry. It's, a, it's just a wool scarf, like a fringe scarf, and I think actually it would be really pretty on a table. Uh, there is the tag, 
and this did oh I took a best offer of eight dollars on this I think because I think it's been washed beautiful pattern but I think it's been washed so um, just because of how the wool looked kind of bunched together so I just love the pattern of it though it was so pretty all right this I got at Goodwill I was gonna use it for my daughter and then I ended up just listing it and selling it I put her up for $15 with free shipping it's just the when products hair care um, styling cream so I think I have two of those in my store next this is a lot of Grovia um, cloth diapers these were my absolute favorite diapers that I used for my kids and this was I had two lots of them one kind of like a boys themed lot and then this was the girls themed lot and um, these sold for um, these sold for sixty five dollars. The buyer, which is an amazing price, by the way, because they are super expensive new. And the buyer um, put in a complaint because on one of these, let me see if I can zoom in. This diaper, the back part of the diaper, was a little bit stretched out more so than this one. You can kind of see. So she wanted a refund, um, and I, t I told her I'd give her a $5 refund because she was already getting the diapers for less than $10 for the diaper and a liner each, um, and she did accept that that offer. So, But I did, I did buy these at the Goodwill Outlet, so I got a really good price for all of them, um, and those sold for $65, oh, and I gave a $5 refund. All right, these two have also been in my store forever. So this was in my, the beginning days of buying when I thought Banana Republic was just a great brand. Um, but again, I didn't do my research to find out if it was actually selling. So, so uh, yeah, the style, the color, uh, the brand is good. The style, the color, and the size are three check marks against me. And it's Banana, the three dots up here, which I didn't know, but the three dots mean that it's Banana Republic factory. So it's not even like from the main store. So anyway, they've been in my store for like two years. I took a best offer of a whole $3. Awesome. Okay. And last but not least is this pair of vintage Levi's. I love these because they are so perfectly worn in. These are so awesome. So you can see like the legs. These are all natural wear marks, um, which are just great. So that was a big bonus. Plus they were a great size, um, 36 by 34. Here's just some more pictures of them. They've got great wear on them. I'm showing the wear. I love that it has like the whole, it's either, a, it's probably phone, like a phone mark in there. So anyway, they were pretty cool. And the tag was missing. I had to actually measure these out, but these sold for $27.89 uh, plus shipping. So happy to see those goes those go so anyway that's about it you guys um that's 20 things that sold and thanks for watching and hope you guys are doing well and hopefully i can put up another video soon thanks bye